Hey guys, it's Casual Gamer Reed, YouTube's number one Kentucky fan. Now, I'm going to explain to Indiana why you're not an elite program yet. Okay, here's what I'm going to, here's how I'm going to do it. Okay, you've won two great games against Ohio State and Kentucky. Okay, you've won those games, you deserve all the credit for that. Okay. But now when you think about who's gonna, who has a chance this year to win the national title, you don't think about Indiana. I mean, right now, you may continue to win, but more than likely, that's not going to happen. You know, you may continue to play well. You know, you may continue to do well in the Big Ten and everything, but when it comes down to tournament time, you're not going to be considered one of the top one or two seeds. See, those are the elite teams. Those are Syracuse, Ohio State, Kentucky. That's an example, you know, of the elite teams. Right now, you would not put Indiana in a category with those teams, even though you beat two of them. You would not put Indiana there yet. You still have to continue to prove this year that you are an elite team. You have to continue winning. You know, you're going to have to win the Big Ten to be considered an elite team. You're going to have to win your conference. Kentucky's going to have to win the SEC. Syracuse is going to have to win, you know, like that, their conference. You have to win your conference like that. North Carolina has to win their conference. It just goes on and on. You see what I'm saying? That's what an elite team is. It'll be, you have to at least be a one or a two seed in the tournament, in my opinion. That is what an elite team is. Now, your program has been, not been elite the last uh, few years because of all your probation trouble and all that stuff. So that's pretty simple to me. That's what I that's what I mean when I say elite. I'm not going by the past. Like Kentucky, we sucked for five, six years with Tubby Smith. We was not an elite team. If you look at our history, we're one of the greatest teams of all time. That's the way I look at elite right now. I'm looking at what you're doing for me now. You know, I understand your team has improved, but the wheels can fall off. I remember uh, we started six and one under Billy Gillespie, and we thought, man, we're, we're gonna be awesome. And the wheels fell off and we missed the whole tournament. You know, we started a six and one in our conference, I think, in the SEC, and we thought, man, we've got it. But then everything changed. You know, elite teams, Right now, Indiana's not a elite team right now. They're on the rise. But you're not elite. You know, if you if you want to go by your past and say, oh, we're, the, we're one of the greatest ever, you can go by that, you know. But to me, your past is tainted when you have somebody like Bobby Knight doing what he did. So, you know, that's the way I see it with Indiana, you know got a good team right now you know but right now unless you continue to dominate and win all you know win out and all this stuff and maybe lose four or five games all year which you're gonna lose more than that uh, you know you're not a elite team you're not gonna be one of the teams people say they can win it all in March Madness you know when March Madness starts they're not gonna say Indiana Indiana's the team to be they're not gonna say that you know, you've improved, but don't get ahead of yourselves. Just because you beat two great teams, let's don't get ahead of yourself. You know, uh, there's no home court in the NCAA. You know, it's neutral court. You know, it'll be a home court for some teams that travel well like Kentucky, and Indiana may travel well, but you're not gonna travel like Kentucky. And uh, that's, that's what I mean when I say elite. Anyway, uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and go Big Blue.